family i'm trying to record as much as i can because i don't know how i'm gonna feel during the week i don't have my brow on so if you see my nipple <laughs> close your eyes good morning good afternoon good evening shalom aloha salam alaikum and grand rising and we are rising to the top okay family i'm gonna share a message with you god is good God is good all the time. God is good. Again, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. The universe is good. And all the time, the universe is good. Your ancestors are good, the positive ones, all the time. By the way, I dropped my, my, my phone in water. And let me tell you, Monday I was going to work, right? I went in there to put money on my Metro card. First of all, I, I left my glasses at home. So I figured, okay, I, I can see, but if I have to read something, I have to get really close, you know, scrunch my eyes. So. You know what I'm saying? So I got to the train station. I'm like, I can do this. I can go to work without my glasses. One, I dropped my phone in the water, so I was upset. I went in there. I left my phone at home. Um, I left my glasses. So I said, you know, I can make it. You know, I'm an intern. You want to put, you know, your good impression, make a good impact in case they want to hire. They can, you know, hire you. So I don't want to go late. I went in there. I put Metro card. I put $20 on my Metro card, right? The machine took my money, gave me a receipt, but never added the $20 on my card. So first of all, my phone is messed up. I know some of you have been texting me. I have to take it to the shop. Hopefully they can clean it up. So my phone is messed up. I'm, I'm pissed off. I left my eye at home, and then I put money on my card. I didn't get it. I went to the booth. I told the lady, and she gave me an envelope to send it, and the receipt to send it. I'll get credit for it. I said, okay. So she opened the gate, and I went through. Then the next day, I left my glasses at home. I said, oh, I got it. I can do this. Y'all know I was standing at the train station. Like, you know, I swiped my card. I went in. And I swear to God, I thought I saw 10 minutes. I'm, I'm, I was, I'm standing out. I didn't climb upstairs to wait for the train. I just stayed down. I swear to God, I thought it said 10 minutes. The next minute, I didn't even hear the train coming. All I heard was people coming down. That means my train has already arrived and people are getting off. Mind you, I can't run like before. I'll get lightheaded. So I just, I was like, oh my God. This is how you know you're having a bad day. You see it? So this is what happened. I was dropping my son off at his dad, right? And pardon me, I can't really talk loud. That's why I'm, I'm breathing and my, my son a little slow, like I just got some healing done. I'm sharing this message with you. That's why I say God is good all the time. So I'm dropping my son off. And the bus that I take to to his father, his dad's place, I seen the bus coming. Usually when I see the bus, I'll run with my son and, you know, wait at the, the station so we could catch the bus. Again, I'm not feeling good. I'm weak. I'm tired. I just got out of work, fed my son, made sure his homework is done, and I'm dropping him off. I'm sick. So I, my son held my hand and said, Mommy, let's run. I said, gee, I can't run. So I'm trying to speed walk, right? I, I can't. I try to do it. I'm like, I can't do it. We're going to miss this. But I'm looking at the bus like I'm about to miss this bus. And it's going to take like 30 minutes for the next bus. I don't know why that particular bus, it just takes forever. So I'm like, God, please. God, please. I want to catch this bus so bad, but I know I cannot run. And I know if we miss this bus, we're going to be here till tomorrow. 
family you know what happened so this is the bus coming right this is me yes you this is me my whole body is me this is the bus coming the bus is in front of me this is me the bus is in front of me right it's gonna make this curve right and then it will make it will make a left it will make a right so the right is the bus station now i'm walking straight i'm supposed to cross the street and then run to the bus station but i can't run the light is on the, the red light is on so the bus is, is is in traffic and the people are crossing the street again i'm not feeling good so i can't run i knew that i can't make the light and i'm watching the, the light went, went from red to green. So now the bus is moving. And I didn't even cross the street here. I said, God. You know what happened? God is good. There was this truck. It was a black truck. I don't know which way the truck was going. It was a big truck. I believe the truck was making a, the same right lane as the right turn as the bus. So now the bus cannot move because the truck is in front of the bus. And the bus cannot, the truck cannot move because there's a car also blocking the bus, I mean the truck. It's a big truck. So the little, little cars, they were able to like move around. The cars that were going straight, they were able to move around. The scooters, the motorcycles, they were able to move around. But the bus, it couldn't move. The bus had to wait for the truck to move. And this is how God came through for me. The, I was with the bus. The bus came and just passed me because I couldn't run, right? Now tell me how the bus is stuck. The bus was stuck. Even though the light was red, for some reason, traffic out of nowhere. So I crossed the street, you know, I said, I told some of the cars, like, slow down, slow down. They stopped, and then I held my, my son's hand. We crossed the street. The bus, the, the bus was still there. Again, I don't know what happened. There was traffic. I crossed the street, and we walked to the bus station. Soon as, as soon as we got to the bus station, the, the truck that was blocking the bus, it moved. It finally made the right turn. And then the, the bus also pulled over. When he pulled over, I got on the bus. As soon as I got there, I looked up. I did this. I said, then I touched my heart and I touched Mother Earth. I said, thank you. Thank you. I know you did this for me. I know you did this for me. You see how God came through for me? I don't know what you're going through. Pay attention. Today, I went shopping, right? I went to BJ's. I went to the, the clinic, but they said, they were not accepting any more walkings. I have to come the next day. So the little energy I got went to BJ's and I was feeling dizzy. So I sat down a little bit and I was going through some of the coupons at the same time. One of the workers came in and said, you okay? I said, yeah, I'm going through the coupons. So I sat down, I drank a lot of water and I got up, you know, pushed my shopping. I had two shopping carts by myself. I was saying, God, please give me the strength. Give me the strength. Give me the strength to do this. Give me the strength to do this. So I'm, I went in to check out. I called one of the workers to come. Because some of the items, I bought a lot of stuff for my friend. Y'all know my girlfriend that, that, I, that I, always, I always talk about. I call her partner in crime. Yeah, she's going back to Africa. So I had to get two barrels and, you know, help fill it up and ship it for her. So I said, please, and she's an amazing friend. She's an, I don't even call her friend. She's like my partner in crime. We were badass in school, way back in Ghana, you know. So I, we call each other partner in crime. She deserves it. I said, please, God, give me the strength. Mind you, it's raining like cats and dogs. So I went to the checkout. The lady scanned it. Because some of the items, I have like diapers, you know, three. I have items that is like 10 of them. So that she was scanning instead of me scanning it. One after the after the other on the on the checkout, I'll tell her she she you know she'll put a quantity. She looked at me and said, "You need a taxi." I said, "Yeah." She said, "I have a friend. She has a van." I said, "Okay. You want me to call her?" I said, "Yes." She called the friend. 
and the lady helped me push the, the sh my, my shopping cart. Remember, I have two shopping carts. So she was like, you mind if I help you? I said, yeah. So she helped me push it. And then the taxi driver came. She is a lady. She came in and helped me push it. I told the lady, I said, thank you so much. It wasn't her job to help me push it. She was just a worker. God came through for me. My ancestors came through for me. Again, it was raining. So I took the cab. She brought me to my house. Cab drivers would just help you unload it in front of the house and just go. You know this lady, I don't know if the man was her boyfriend, but the driver was a man and the lady was like the, the pad, um, at the driver's seat. You know both, and it was, I'm telling you family, it was raining. It's been, it's, this whole week New York City is raining. I'm making this video right now, it's raining. So I'm at the, I mean, I'm in the, I'm in the car. I said, God, how am I going to get all of this thing out? I don't have too much energy. I'm not feeling good, but give me the strength to get all this stuff out. There's elevator in my building. So once everything is at, by the door, I just, you know, put them in the elevator and come up. Again, taxi drivers will just leave. They will take them out of their car and put it right there on the street and just go. This lady and the husband or the friend or boyfriend, whatever, it was raining. They helped me. They brought all the stuff inside my apartment. No, no, my bad. Inside the building. Not even inside. And it was raining. They helped me bring it inside the building. They charged me 20. They charged me... 30, I get them $35. I get them extra five to buy coffee or whatever. They were not supposed to do that. That wasn't their job, but they did. You want to know why? It was God. God. God came through for me. That's why I say God is good all the time. God is good. The universe, the ancestors, whatever belief system it is. I'm sharing this message with you today to let you know that. When you do good for people, right? When you do things from a kind heart, a clean heart, God will never forsake you. I'm telling you. If you pay attention, if you pay attention, God comes through for you. And you want to know what funny thing? Soon as I, I got, I, I came through the building, you know the first thing I saw? Pigeon. There was a pigeon right there, and I was like, hey, buddy, I made it. I made it home. I just, I don't know what came over me. I just, I don't understand pigeon language. I don't, my frequency is not up there to communicate with animals, but that animal is just there, and I don't know for some reason. I just say, hey, I made it home. And then when I put the stuff down, I turned around, I didn't see the pigeon. Be good. Even if it's 25 cents, you, you give it to somebody from a kind heart. If it's a cup of coffee, it's you holding the door for somebody. Just be good. Do as much as you can. I'm telling you that it will never be in vain. God will come through for, for you. I am telling you this. This I know he said, she said, God came through for me. I was shopping. The shopping wasn't mine. Two shopping carts. It wasn't mine. I'm doing it for a friend. Even though I was sick, God came through for me. So whatever you do, do it with your kind heart. Do it from, from within you. I know sometimes you feel like giving up. I am one of them people. God is real, man. I hope this video helped touch somebody's heart today and make a change, even if it's one person. God is good all the time. God is good. Thank you for watching. I love you. Take care of yourself and give yourself a hug and African kisses. God came through for me, and I know God will come through for you. Be a good person as much as you can. You don't got to overdo it. The little that you can do with a little smile, a little good morning, it goes a long way. I love you.